Hey guys, so this is going to be a review of Sonic the movie. So, Sonic the Hedgehog the movie. I made a decision um, either to watch Sonic first or, um, or Birds of Prey. And I made my choice. I may or may not regret it. I, I don't know. But anyway, so... Obviously, there was drama with Sonic the Hedgehog. When that first trailer dropped, everyone was like, what the fuck is that abomination? Is that meant to be Sonic? And then the studio was like, okay, people, calm down. We'll redesign it. We'll push everything back. And they redesigned Sonic. And funny enough, while watching this, well, at the end of, after watching it, I just thought, imagine if they didn't actually change it. Wow. Anyway, so... Without giving too much away, basically, Sonic, in his own little world, is escaping these things that are trying to attack him because of his magic power and stuff. After his... I don't want to say mother because it's clearly not mother. I'm going to say guardian. <laughs> Tells him not to use his power, but like his power is in running because someone will see him. And people saw him. And basically she gave the gave him these rings. Um, obviously if you've played Sonic before you kind of get what the rings are. But basically um, um, all he has to do is whenever he's in danger again. He just opens up a portal and it goes to another planet. Um, so basically he ends up in. It ends up on Earth. And then meets the um, police officer. Kind of like a community police officer, officer, should I say. He wants to spread his wings and go to another place so he can fight real crime. And he bumps into Sonic and he helps Sonic, um, you know, escape um, Eggman. Now, the movie itself, it, it's all right. It, it's a kid's movie. I mean, what can I say? There's some bits that are funny. Um, it's not like overly hilarious, but there's some, some bits are funny. But then again, I'm, I'm watching a kid's film. You may enjoy it more if you are a Sonic fan. Bear in mind, I'm 25. <laughs> I did prefer Detective po Pikachu more so, but that could be because I'm more a fan of Pokemon than I am of Sonic. But, I mean, it's 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 an alright film. It's an alright film. Um, It could have been a lot worse. It could have been a lot worse. So it's kind of like an average sort of film. It's not a film where I'm going to go and rush as soon as it goes out on DVD and buy it. It's not that sort of film. I probably wouldn't even buy it on DVD, to be honest with you. Um, But, but it's all right. There's also... I don't know... At first, okay, without going too much away. So Sonic keeps mentioning this planet and well, the planet this other world or whatever you want to call it and it's kind of hinting and you think oh okay and they're building it up for what I think it's talking about but until like near the end you realize well maybe it's not or maybe that's what it looks like or that's what they're going to make it look like um when it's like sort of in the you know what I mean when it's not like in you know cartoony What's the planet or whatever, whatever you want to call it? <laughs> That's how they're gonna CGI and make it look like that. So it was kind of baiting that, but in the end, it was kind of I don't think they're gonna go that route unless they still do. I don't know. And then there is a post credit scene. Basically, it's nothing that interesting. You just again, if you played Sonic before, it's just a character from the Sonic games, and it basically it's just hinting at another Sonic film. So we'll probably be getting a second film. But other than that, it's all right. Kids would kids would enjoy it. I mean, I went during half term. I know. I thought it was going to be packed. I mean, it's full of kids. Um, they didn't, they didn't, they weren't loud or anything, you know what I mean? So they weren't irritated or bored because that's what kids tend to do when they're bored and stuff, they just make noise and whatever. So it looked like they enjoyed it pretty much. So, I mean, your kids may enjoy it. As I said, I just thought... It was all right. It was an all right film, as I said. It could have been worse. Um, it's kind of like me. I would say it was kind of like just slightly above mediocre. If I was going to rate it, I'm sorry if you heard that sort of stomach burp thing, but if I was going to rate it out of five, I rate it out of five. Usually I rate it out of ten, but it depends on the film. I'd, no, fuck it. I rate it out of ten. If I rate it out of ten, I'd probably give it. I'm going to give it. I'll give it. Six, 6.5 out of 10 pushing it to maybe 7 it was all right it had some good bits in it but overall it's kind of like a just an average sort of 
film. Jim Carrey is really good in it, obviously. I mean, I couldn't imagine someone else playing um, Dr. Uh, Eggman at all. I don't you see anyone else fitting that character. You know, when sometimes you watch a film and you see someone play that character, you think, I can't imagine anyone else being able to pull it off that good. So <laughs> there's that. But other than that, it, it was an all right film. Um, but yeah, that's it for this review. So bye guys.